materials needed to set up a Wi-Fi V2 are a Wi-Fi transmitter, a USB programming cable, a transformer, a sensor for each input, and a jumper for each input. Before starting the setup, make sure to cut one of the red wires. It does not matter which one. If you look at the Wi-Fi module, you should see a component that says XBS6. There should be a small square chip in the lower left corner. This means it is to be used for Wi-Fi. Now we are going to proceed with the setup. Feed the wire end of the sensor through the designated hole and connect the red and white wires to the desired input in the green terminals. See this diagram that relates input numbers and terminal positions. This is a TPT3 sensor that will be hooked up to input 1, so the jumper will need to be placed here, shown by the green arrow. The jumper will now be placed in the correct position. Be sure to tightly install a small zip tie between the black insulation and the grommet to act as a strain relief for the wire. Now connect the transformer to a power source and plug the other end into the power receiver. You should see both a blue and a green light. The green light will not be lit when under battery power only. Connect the USB programming cable to the 4-pin programming header in the module. Open Device Manager on computer with Centron software and view the COM ports. Connect the cord to an open USB port and watch the device manager to see which COM port is being used. This COM port number will be needed later. In this case, the COM port number is 6. Now close all windows and open Test Wireless. This can be accessed by clicking on the Start menu, All Programs, the Re Scientific folder, Administrative Utilities folder, and finally Wireless Subsystem Administrator. Test Wireless can also be opened by navigating to the hard drive, clicking Reese System, and then Test Wireless. To use this program, you will need an activation code, which can be obtained from the Reese Scientific website using the request code given. In the event that you cannot obtain an authorization code, contact Tech Support for Assistance. Place the code in the activation box and press Authorize. Now click Program V2 Connection and check the box next to Use Wi-Fi. Now select Program Wi-Fi Modules. Select the correct COM port number from the drop-down menu. This information was determined previously using Device Manager. Enter the correct information for the Wi-Fi network. The Centron node's IP is the IP address of the computer. This can be verified by opening command prompt and typing ipconfig slash all. Here you can see the IP address and other useful information such as the subnet mask and physical address.
the listening on IP port is 9750 by default. Click wait for module. This message should pop up. On the module, press reset and then hold join and release after you see the blue light flash three times. Press OK. Quickly press reset on the module once more. If you open the drop down menu on the side, there should be a serial number that matches the serial number on your module. This will open a new window. Select the correct input connected. In this case, it will be input 1. Assign an input number and select the type of input connected. Click OK in the three windows and ensure the input reads the correct information. You can now unplug the programming cable and screw the faceplate on. This device is designed to run on constant power from the transformer, so be sure to leave the cord plugged in. You have now completed the setup of a Wi-Fi transmitter.